over the next few weeks, Jeff and I were just chatting about it across the country. The kids are heading back to school, but this year, thanks to high inflation, lots of parents and grandparents are struggling to get kids geared back up for school. So on average, families are spending more than $800 this year, but this is leaving a lot of people having to make hard choices to be able to afford that. So does this back to school season seem more uh, of, of like an out of reach thing for people? And remember, it's not just the parents. Teachers are definitely spending much more money just getting their classrooms ready for kids. Um, Al, you know, first of all, as a former teacher, I would love to hear that aspect of it. But also, you got your kids going off to school. What's yes, going on? Yes. Well, to, you know, today uh, my daughter started, you know, Monday. Or, the, you know, they actually started last Thursday. So it's pictures from there. But first, I, I misunderstood the assignment. Michael Dean, our producer, was like sending school pictures. So I sent in one of myself no, you did not. from like eight, oh the my. 1800s. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> That, that, Say what that, you think it looks like. I, I said I look like a, like a prime minister's kid in the islands. <laughs> that, that goes to like a private school, you know, Barbados. called Breezes. Yeah, and, and then uh, and then my daughter, uh, she started school so sophomore year, uh, the couple days ago. So that's her. Oh I can't. God. Yes, that's. Oh. I don't. Even I know. Her. Like at all. It's it, it's 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 crazy. A sophomore. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So she's that's gorgeous. Yes, well, I know. She's a child. Jeff, you're really gonna sorry. blink in uh, Lawson. My son's five eleven. You're gonna blink and your boys are gonna be towering no. over you and you're gonna be like, what happened? I'm wow. telling you now. Are I know. Okay? I know. I try to like uh, enjoy every day. You really do. You yeah. know what I mean? So. And you're both thank your you boys are in school. Yeah. So they just started. Well, now they're in separate schools, right? So oh, Lawson, oh Lawson officially is back. Oh. Layton still has a little bit of summer. He officially goes back. He's just been a couple of day, uh, couple of days, mm -hmm. but they're in separate schools now, so it's a little bit harder getting there, dropping them off, and they're scared. I so know. it's it's scary. But as far as the price thing goes, I, I don't know because I haven't bought school supplies. This is like the first year we really needed to buy them, so I don't I don't really notice if they did jump up a lot. I would feel worse for the teachers. My sister in law is a teacher. She buys a lot of things in her own classroom, and they don't get paid what they should. So I would say it affects teachers maybe more so than students because they do have some good deals out there. How about how about so, you, Sammy. Sophie, um, Sophie starts, and she's here in the studio. She shed a little day today. That's from last year. Oh, my goodness. So her first day of school is on Wednesday, but she had like a one-on-one -on -one with her teacher today, and I wasn't allowed in. Wow. I was like, oh, really? I kind of like tried to like spy. <laughs> I love that. And as far as to your point, Jeff, we did back-to-school shopping yesterday, which you have to get all the supplies, and I was so happy to be able to help out. And then when I got to the school, to your point, I saw that the teacher already had so many yeah. different things that I knew, my mom's a teacher, I knew that she had to go out and purchase. Like Absolutely. she had curtains hung, she had all different things just to make the classroom feel homey. And I was like, wow, that came out of her own pocket. Yeah. So yes, the teachers are the one that are that are underpaid and we need to, and underappreciated, let's be honest. Absolutely. Very true, very true. And now they're being asked to, you know, in some situations be armed, right. which is like crazy to think on top of that, which I know leads us into this. Yes, exactly. So schools across the country are reopening this year with a big focus on security, especially after the deadly school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. Speaking of which, an Oklahoma mom has gone viral on TikTok. She's getting her five-year-old ready to start kindergarten with a bulletproof insert to his backpack and at-home training drills. Take a look. Teacher calls over the intercom, says this is not a drill. Everybody go in the corner and be really quiet and still. What do you do? You know, I'm trying to be really quiet and still. Now show me how you use your bulletproof backpack. If a teacher says, Weston, you don't need your backpack, let's get in the corner. I say, no, I need it. It's bulletproof. Wow. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. That's what that's the day and age we're in 2022. So what do you think about what this mom did? And are you preparing differently for your kids, Jeff, going into kindergarten? I mean, you and I, we're just now in the throes of it all. Have yeah. you thought about this? I I have not. I haven't. I have. Are you guys purposefully? Can I ask? Just not thinking about it. Well, I want to of consult. Like so Tuesday night we have like a parent teacher like security and principal like meeting, and that's when I was going to bring up those questions. But yeah, I've. Uh, scary. I, I still want to, as much as we talk about school shootings, and there's probably one today that we don't talk about, right? As much as. I know it's just the walls are closing in and it's coming closer and closer to home. It's like something that I kind of want to push out of my mind. I'm like, I still don't believe it, mm -hmm. right? I, and who would shoot up a kindergarten school or a preschool? You know what I mean? And it's like, 
I, I still can't believe it. You know what I mean? I still can't believe it. And uh, I, I, I think it's that thinking that led us here because I, I said when we started this this conversation, I was like, I'm not gonna say that this is crazy that that kid is doing yeah. that because we not say at we're all. we say we're we're, oh, not we're at all. but you yeah. can look at it and be like, this is crazy. What's that? And it's like, no, this is very this is what happens when a group of people, we'll call ourselves Americans, make a series of decisions that lead to this. So like, let's all own this. Uh, people decided to elect people that did nothing when these things happen. So let's own it. Let's not say it's crazy. Let's not shake our head and say we cannot believe we're here. We can all believe we're here. We how many school shootings have we covered, Tori? Yeah. 50? Yeah, I was 40? Gonna, yeah, I was going to say like, I don't know if I were a parent, I might be doing the exact same thing at this age and teaching just to make sure it's down and the, the calmness and everything. But it's just if anyone from out of this country shows that that's what America is. That's America in 2022. It's not apple pie. It's not baseball. It's not running when the lights go out. It is that I know. Shame on, and, us. And to, Shame on us. my yeah. kids are having a hard enough time being in separate schools yep. and getting them into the classroom. If I put on yeah. them, right, yeah. right, and they're not used, they don't have the friends that they had, and it's new to them, to put on top of them, like, hey, this is a bulletproof vest yes. in case someone comes in and shoots up the school. Right. How do you, I'm where do stressed. I start that I conversation? Yeah. Yeah. I know, I'm, like, uncomfortable even having this conversation yeah. with my child here. Right. I'm totally I'm very uncomfortable right now. Yeah. I totally get um, it. So let's talk about some of the parents and grandparents because this is this is year three of getting ready for back to school during a pandemic. Lots of medical experts say the best advice for parents is simple. Get your kids vaccinated. But does this year feel different to you? What would you guys yeah, say? I know I know we, we've been on kind of a down turn, which uh, in terms of the stories we're covering and we should be. That's tragic and embarrassing. But this is all there's also some beauty here as well. This is the first time that our kids are going to school and there's not a plastic divider right. in front of them, yeah. that they're not being, uh, you know, shuffled on the sides of the, uh, of the hallways together. Kids are going to actually have the experience of being in middle school, of being in high school. My daughter, my son basically lost all of middle school. Aww. So, I mean, it's time for people to start going to proms to be able to, you know, give a valedictorian speech, not on Zoom. Yeah. So things are, are good in that sense. So like, let's not just always look at the bad and I'm more talking to myself than anybody else. Yeah, I, this seems a little political to me. Is that I don't want to take it there, but it's like there, there's a lot of agendas out there to push and, mm. you know, get your kids vaccinated against COVID-19 mm. or just in general. Are you talking? Because there are people who don't. COVID. Because I think you have to get vaccinated for other stuff like mumps. Yeah, totally yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't. There's a. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the most important see, thing in the whole school year is to get your kids vaccinated? That's the message I think, being I think pushed out? Parent, I and I'm vaccinated, think, FYI. Right. Yeah. I just want to bring it there. Is that the message that. I, yeah, I, I think to Jeff's point, that being the most important message as what they're spewing, yes, that could seem very political. I think every family needs to protect themselves, whether they, we all know that kids are very low risk. Yeah. So if you're going to decide that you're not going to vaccinate your children, I think that should be a parent's decision. Sophie goes today. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie's going today at four. Yes. Um, but to Jeff's point, I really looked into it. Right. It wasn't so easy with me. With me, I knew it. I got to get vaccinated. You all know what happened to my to my brother-in-law, and I'm an adult, so we're more at risk. With children, it's not so you know right. cut and dry. Black and white. Black and white. Yeah, so yeah. I really had to like look into it and make sure like were there any risks? Were there any safety concerns? And I had to make my own decision. Every parent should make their own own decision when it comes to their children. I think at some point, though, what they don't want is it to restart and just spread and then it spreads and they become vectors and then we all get COVID all over again because kids may not have been affected well, but they spread it super well. So you don't want to have that start and go. But I agree with you. That's a little bit of like it's up to them. My point is I'm happy for all the parents that tried to do Zoom teaching. Yeah, oh, the and one. iPad teaching was... What? It, it was, just didn't work. It, I just know so many parents that are burnt out from it when they were like an ADD kid who couldn't sit still and like, why am I at home and not with my friends? So I'm happy for parents. And also too. parents that didn't know, like I didn't know some of my son's math homework. I was yeah, like, I don't dude. know. <laughs> I just circle C. Yeah. I don't know. And so what about when you're working? Yeah. How difficult is it to be a full-time parent and a full-time working parent? It's impossible. Yeah. It's impossible. It is impossible. Right. So, so it's right. good. They're experiencing life. Yes, exactly. Always some positivity.